This is a spark gap kit I got from eBay. Uh, it costs about £3.50. It generates this um, arc across uh, these two electrodes. Uh, now I'm not going to touch it because I think that would probably hurt quite a bit. So, uh, But it's a nice little kit and I'll go into more detail about it. So there's a few people that sell the, these on eBay um, uh, and the one that I got I was just um, putting it on to tacking it onto an order I already had uh, to just to make it up to about £15 uh, and mine doesn't come with a PCB so I had to put it on some strip board uh, but there's a kit which comes with a PCB which is probably simpler because you just solder the components onto the PCB that come, it comes with uh, and the component, it, there's not many components it comes with um, so there's a tra little transformer over here uh, there's two windings on the primary and one winding on the secondary uh, and the two windings on the primary kind of act like a, a dual thief circuit so uh, the um, very similar way to create an oscillator between a transistor and the uh, and the two inductors um, so it comes with a transistor a diode a rectifier diode a resistor transformer and a switch uh, and that's basically the kit and if you get the one with a PCB it comes with a PCB and you just solder the components onto that uh, so when you come to put it together you've got to be careful because you need to take if you're using strip board you need to take away most of the strip board around the high voltage part of the circuit so that it doesn't arc on the back and so I separated the low voltage part over here with the high, high voltage part over there it runs just on a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery um, so this is like a cell phone battery but you can use an 18650 um, I think it said from 3.7 to 4 volts or something in the, in, in the description now it doesn't come with any electrodes but I just use this is a couple of leads off a diode uh, it's not the diode that's, that it came with but I just found some thick leads which I'd cut off a diode at one some point uh, and I don't tend to use a switch when I'm using this I just tend to uh, plug the battery in and try and keep my fingers away from the high voltage part of the circuit uh, because yeah I don't want to touch that and so use the operating the switch I know you probably can operate the switch for actually if you hold hold the top of the heatsink you can, you can probably operate the switch without touching it but it uh, seems a bit uh, tricky so this is the basic circuit which um, they provided on the eBay listing. They didn't send any circuit diagram with the actual kit, they just sent the components. Uh, so I went back to the listing and found this. Uh, and it revolves around this transformer. Uh, so on the output, the, you've got the two electrodes that you put to have the spark gap across. And they haven't made it very clear on the input, but these thicker blue wires, they're the thicker, thicker wires on the primary and then these thinner wires are the thinner wires on the primary uh, and it's important to take from one side link uh, the thicker one on one side to the thinner wire on the other side so that the, the primary coil that you're tapping off uh, one side goes in one direction and one side goes in the other direction uh, so this is the middle part and that goes to the positive terminal on the battery so that's the that's the kind of only confusing thing about this um, circuit and then it, it kind of acts like a, a dual thief oscillating part of the circuit where it goes through uh, the second part of the primary um, coil the lower current part comes into the base of the transmitter a uh, base of the transistor uh, and that creates an oscillation uh, where the transistor switches on the, the uh, transformer conducts current uh, which then makes the transistor switch off but because uh, when you get a current in the in one part of the primary it, it um, produces an opposite voltage in the second part of the primary which switches the transistor off and so then it just oscillates so it, 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 it conducts and it stops conducting conducts it stops conducting it creates kind of an AC type um, current uh, and then the emitter goes through a switch to the negative terminal of the battery uh, and whilst that's oscillating it creates magnetic fluxes between the primary and secondary coils that uh, generates a really high high current on the or the high voltage sorry on the on the output very low current on the output but very high voltage and that generates a spark gap 